Welcome to my practice. I am Dr. Bert Barkowitz, canine psychopharmacologist. What brings you here today, Mr. Muzzleman? Well, doctor, I think I'm suffering from a bout of depression. I am just don't feel like myself as of late. I see. Go on. Well, things I used to love, I just don't enjoy anymore. Such as? Such as playing fetch with my master. It's like throw the stick, fetch the stick. Throw the stick, fetch the stick. It used to be fun. Now I'm like, how about I throw the friggin' stick and you go chase it, asshole. Very interesting. What else? Well, I've kind of lost interest in scent marking and crotch sniffing. I used to be a good old whore and dog. I remember the first time I saw the sexy collie, Ginger, strutting through the park. The tail on that bitch. Wow. I mean bow wow. We got into some heavy betting. But now. Meh. I need help, doctor. Please. I'm desperate. Well, it does indeed seem like you are suffering from canine depressive behavioral disorder. Luckily, there are many drugs on the market that work wonders. We just have to find the right one. Have you ever been prescribed antidepressants before, Mr. Muzzleman? Yes, Dr. Barkowitz. A couple of years ago when the security firm I was working for downsized, they eliminated my job as a watchdog and I became very despondent. But when I was prescribed Prozac, I started to act out. What did you do? What didn't I do? I ripped the stuffing out of my owner's couch. Peed on her pillow. Swallowed her engagement ring. Ate her homework. Attacked the cat next door. Knocked over the garbage can. Threw up on her Persian rug. And took a dump in her shoe. Some miracle drug. It's a miracle she didn't impound me, or worse, put me to sleep. Yes, it's true. Many of these drugs can unleash violent tendencies in otherwise passive pooches. Let me tell you about a patient of mine, Skippy, a fluffy white poodle. One day, after starting on Paxil, he went on a bizarre biting spree, mauling his owner and three small children. The attack finally ended when Skippy intentionally ran in front of a Greyhound bus, killing himself. Oh my. Bummer. On the other hand, these drugs can often work wonders. I've seen shy dogs become sociable, fierce dogs become friendly, and neurotic dogs become normal. Is that so? Yes. One of my patients, a Dalmatian named Dot, had an obsessive compulsive disorder. She would spend hours trying to scratch off her spots. Her owner spent a fortune on books, trainers, therapy, and new age diets. But nothing ever worked. Until she began sharing her Lexapro with her dog. Within just five days, her Dalmatian's nervous habit ceased. I hope there's something out there for me, but I doubt it. Why do you say that? Because I have other problems. Like what? Like 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 it's okay you can tell me like ball licking i like to lick my testicles you are being too hard on yourself throw yourself a bone there's nothing wrong with a dog licking his testicles that's not what my owner says you know why dogs lick their balls why because they can it's one of the advantages of being a dog. So lick them good. You have nothing to be ashamed of. So? Can you help me, Dr. Barkowitz? I will try. But before I write you a prescription, I must ask. Are you entering any dog shows? No, why? Because the Westminster Kennel Club is now doing drug screenings for mood enhancers. They feel these pills will make show dogs more confident, outgoing and friendly, thus giving them an unfair advantage. They will make you pee on a hydrant, then test to see if banned substances are in your system. Oh? You don't have to worry about that. I'm not best in show material, and would never be able to live up to those standards. You could say I have a lassie complex, too. 
Here is a prescription for Zoloft, Mr. Muzzle Men. Take one each morning with the meat byproducts and your kibbles and bits, and you should feel like top dog in no time. Thank you, Dr. Barkowitz. You're welcome. I will see you in two weeks. Please bring your insurance card to my girl up front. She will take your copay.